No, we didn't get the keys to NASA Mission Control, but close. Race control at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Now, there's a lot of technology at play here, starting with the massive video wall. This is an oval configuration, so there's eight broadcast cameras on the upper left-hand side that can show every inch of the racetrack if needed in an animated track map in the center. Now, on the right-hand side, these are 17 closed-circuit cameras that can be remotely operated from within this room. The center section, of course, there's timing and scoring, but notice there's two monitors here that have red borders around them. That's because one's the replay machine, one is the television broadcast. There could be a replay of an incident there, and imagine how important it is in this room to be sure if there's an incident, you need to know that might not be live. New for 2018, IndyCar timing and scoring has enhanced the animated track map. Now it's color-coded, including GPS information. You can see some of the cars in blue are located in the garage area. Those that are making their way to the pit lane show in yellow, which is the color as they hit the track for their outlap. As they get up to speed, that will turn green, and the circles around the numbers, when you run on a road course, that'll change by tire usage from black, red, or gray. Now, most importantly for this particular display and race control, now there's GPS location for all the safety vehicles and the pace car. There's also specialized software packages at many of these stations. For example, at Data Analysis. This is Race Tools, which is data analysis the teams use, but a specific software version just for race control. IndyCar Timing and Scoring has come up with a display to identify the running order at restarts, as well as potential qualifying interference on road courses. There's also a customized instant message program where they can communicate individually with a team. They can talk to all the teams at once or have a direct link to Firestone itself. This is the race director position where he also has a customized software package and can look at telemetry from running cars. Now there are some things that are still done from a manual standpoint. You still manually will turn on the caution lights on the racetrack. It's turned on manually, but it is linked to the timing and scoring system, and there is a timestamp. Now, communication-wise, you have the observer communications that talk to 37 observers here. 23 safety vehicles are communicated here, but keep in mind now, the safety vehicles have cameras so they can monitor the activity at an accident scene. This is the front bench, but there's also a rear bench meaning this is where all the replay systems are located. Now there's two sets of replays. One is for the stewards, and essentially this is a high definition recording device similar to a DVR, but with 46 inputs. So you can find the time code that you want at a specific place that you want to review, then punch up any one of those 46 inputs and take that analysis and come up with your determination. So why are there two Replay systems, well, one for the stewards for a violation and one for operation. So once this is manned, there's a staff of 19 people up here that are managed, of course, by race director Kyle Novak. And if you collectively put that all together, that's hundreds of years of race control experience because sometimes you do need to make a split second decision. But the idea of all this technology, if you have to make a quick decision, hopefully it'll be an informed one.